again. So guys, welcome back to a new video. James Crowley here. Um, it is day number four in Dublin and we're actually heading home now today. So um, this is the last few hours in the apartment. Um, it's actually been very cool being in this apartment. If you've not seen my previous video, I gave you a full apartment tour. And um, it was my day with like one, two and three in like Dublin. Um, so yeah, go back, make sure go back, check the video out. So yeah, today we actually have a nice video um, planned out. So um, firstly, we're gonna head off. We're actually going to a few places now today. Um, so I'm gonna bring you along with me. Also as well as excuse all the sunburn. Like look at this. If you've seen the video as well, the previous video, you'll know why I got so sunburned. Because yesterday, like the reason I came to Dublin was to do my personal training exams. Um, I passed all them yesterday, so I'm actually very happy. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a little bit stressful, like trying to vlog and everything, and like trying to do the assignments and everything, but everything was done, we passed. Hope you're excited, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Okay, because I actually picked up a nice few things. Um, I'm spending more than I actually initially planned on, um, but I'm going to show you now. I'm actually excited to try out these products, guys. So, firstly, I got the Naughty Boy pre workout. This is the Stim pre workout. I got a flavored juicy fruit. I cannot wait to use this. This one's going to blow the head off me, I'd say. Because I've heard such good reviews about it. And then I got the Naughty Boy, um, the Stim Free strawberry and mango. This flavor sounds absolutely insane. Um, sick pump. It's going to get a sick pump off this. So, this will be my Stim Free if I'm ever training in the evening or if I have. If I have my few coffees and monster during the day. So then I've got ISO protein. Um I got it's ISO XP, that's from Applied Nutrition. Um I've seen this like all over the place and like people are like saying it's so nice and everything. So I got flavoured chocolate honeycomb and then lastly Walden Farms um near zero calorie flavoured syrup. So yeah, definitely gonna be using one of these today. Um probably the stim one. I'm training pull today, so we're doing back and biceps today, so this one's gonna blow the head off me for that. Alright, so let's mess around, we gotta get into the department and um, for one last meal we're having a pre workout meal and then we're heading off to the gym. All right, so back in the apartment. Um, and also, I have like 15 minutes to check out because it's quarter to 11 now, and that uh, checkout is at 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna kind of munch this down pretty quickly. Um, so I'm having my usual pre-workout meal. If you've been following me, you know exactly what I have for pre-workout. Um, my pre-workout bagel, two low-fat sausages, two turkey rashers, egg, and one whole bagel. Um, and then on the side, I got 250 grams of raspberries and one whole banana as well. Um, so that's gonna be my pre-workout meal. As I said, it's like roughly around 11 o'clock now. Um, so I'll be training at 10 past, te 10 past 12 because that's a slot I booked. Okay, so I've been here like three days and I've only realized that this place has a roof terrace. So look at this, I can see like so much over Dublin. So bright up here as well, oh my God. Squinting like mad. But yeah, I've only been here three days and I didn't realize you could actually get up on top of this place. So I'm going to show you guys the views, look at this. See like over there, that's like the RTE like studio over there where that big spire is. There's like stadiums over there. You can see like a lot of the city. Um, I think the city is like towards that way. And, like the port is over there. It's actually class. So, again, like you can't see a lot, but you can still see a, a nice bit. So yeah, I wish I actually knew about this because I would have actually like, because the other way when I was sunny there like all the last few days, I would have actually come up here and like chilled out and just like had some food and stuff like. But oh well. Um, we're heading home now, so I gotta say goodbye to this place. Um, which yeah, we're heading to the gym, so at least there's um, something to excite us, other than the emotion of leaving this place. All right, so we just rocked up outside for the gym. Uh, this place looks class, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make my pre-workout shake because I still have like 20 minutes until I have to go in. Um, even though I might, I might actually just rock in the next 10 minutes, I'll see. I'll see if it let me in or not. Um, but yeah, I'm mixing my pre-workout shake. As I said, I got the Naughty Boy, the new pre-workout. And um, this tub just looks absolutely insane. Let's look at it, like it's class. The detailing on it is actually insane. Um, which I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna do a proper taste test on this. Um, like usually I just throw in a little bit of water and like throw back my pre-workout, but I'm gonna actually put in a nice bit of water and have a full scoop and do a proper taste because um, again I want to see if this actually tastes as nice as, as it looks yeah like I'm always trying to find the nicest tasting pre-workouts and like the best quality like so we draw a full scoop and also as well can't forget the creatine 5 grams the creatine is on flavour anyway so it won't make any difference to the actual taste of the pre-workout it's okay this it's okay to be honest honestly I don't want to give the taste like 5 or 6 out of 10 As long as we have a good workout, I don't mind So yeah, I'm going to drink this 
There's people walking into the gym already, so I'm just going to head in and see what they say. I also well, I just got out of the car and I realised that Stephen Black is right in front of me. Look at this, his Jeep is right here. So he's inside the gym, so we're going to go and have a look. If he's in there, we're going to have a chat with him, um, because I haven't seen him since my shoot. Um, this man's all over the country, so you can see by his Jeep, it's just filthy already. You need to clean your Jeep, Steve, man. Come on. Right, this is actually another sick gym, yeah. So we're setting off now with this back workout with a lap pull down. Um, so I have a lap pull down here with the mag grip uh, attached right here. Um, so I'm going to sign off this, we're going to do two, three sets and then move on to some seated rows maybe. Um, this gym looks absolutely class and also there's a photo shoot on here as well. Um, we're looking around, all the equipment is so fresh, so clean. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty good workout. Um, and like, as I said, like, the government looks class, but the vibes inside they were absolutely insane. Um, two sets in a lap holder, um, and on my last set, I'm going to finish off. I know one set inside, I'm going to do two top sets in this, um, and move on into some seated form of road. So, um, yeah, I still got to go upstairs, so I think there's like, a place upstairs as well, so I'm going to check it out too. Um, we'll give you guys a full little tour anyway, but, um, this place is class, honestly. And again, I don't know, comparing it to Westside, very similar so far. Alright, so guys, move on. We finished our lap pull and we did two top sets. I did my 5 to 8 rep range and then I did 8 to 12 reps on the second set. I got, I think I got like 6 and I got like 9 reps um, for the two sets. Um, so then moving on to the seated um, row machine. So seated like a seated T bar row almost. Um, I've never actually used a row machine like this um, and this one's actually class. I've done two sets already. Um, two warm sets, so I'm doing my two top sets now. Um, so moving on to my first top set and I got two then, uh, two top sets on this and move on then to probably another form of that pull down. Um, or else maybe a, a, a different variation of the row, we'll see. Um, so again, I just want to show you, again, like I'm not following my proper structure and routine for um, my back day, um, but again, I'm just showing all the different machines here, seeing this gym is actually fucking classic, so I want to show you as much equipment as I can. Storm is coming, so you guys start running. No, you can't control the little more bones, I'm coming for the coming for the My one warm set already, and it's, it's kind of like hitting like the upper back, like the upper traps. Um, so again, it's a nice variation because like, the most recent row I just did, and it was hitting like more like mid back and like lower back. So it's actually nice now when this music is going out to hit um, the upper back. And hopefully you can hear me um, with the fucking loud tunes around me. But yeah, um, we got we're gonna do two sets again here on this. Gonna do one or two warm ups, and then two heavy sets again on this, and then we'll move on to probably, probably pull down after this. I just had a nice chat with Steve in there. It was actually nice to pump into him there. Um, we were chatting there for like I'd say five, ten minutes between my sets. Um, not ideal for um, pump, but uh, yeah, it was good to pump into him again. Like seeing him in Dublin, and, like he's from Derry, and I from Cork to meet here is actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it was nice to catch up with him after shoot there, like that uh, in back in May. So um, yeah, we're gonna go one more set of this, and then move on into my lap pull down. I'm coming for the throw. Alright, we got a man Steve in the background, let's go! Man, make a bad smell! <laughs> no, no, good to see you with the team, right? So we're moving on to um, a machine lap pull down now. I'm um, gonna go and do two, two, two sets on this. 
Um, again, I'm actually liking this. I did one warm already and it actually feels really nice on the left. I'm coming for the throne. last in the workout to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm moving on to my last back exercise now. I'm just going to be to the seated cable row with the V-bear and I'm going to get straight into biceps. I'm probably going to do two, three um, or exercises for biceps because um, I really want to get them pumped up the fall. Um, just get a nice juicy bicep pump before we hit, before we hit the road and um, back to court. Right, so we're ready to biceps now, finish up on back, um, had a great back pump, uh, back swinging very nice right now. Seeing monsters at your window, no you can't sleep, you pretend though, you don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me, when the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath. Yeah, and you just open the windows there, or else it's going to absolutely just roast the bits. Um, which, uh, as I said in the gym, I was like, oh, it's time to get some donuts, but no, actually, we're getting some donuts later on. Um, right now, I'm going to try and get my chocolate and honeycomb protein, um, because I brought my Coke Pops and everything for my post workout meal. Um, so I have my almond milk and my ice, just to make sure it's nice and chilled. And I'm going to whip this open now, and like usually post workout is Coke Pops, protein shake, and a uh, very crispy bear. Because um, on this trip now, I've been very consistent, that's why I got an apartment, so I could do all my, all my own cooking and stuff. Um, we're also going to give you taste tests now on the ISO. Um, so the naughty boy wasn't as good as I expected, uh, but I did have a good workout, right? My workout was very good, so I say that anyway. Um, but again, I don't know if it's something to pre workout or the buzz of the gym, to be honest. Probably mix of both. Test. Oh, that is class. Honestly, that is top notch. Yes, we have our Cocoa Pops, 75 grams weighed out. Um, I weighed out most, everything everything that, that I could control before coming here, I did. So I weighed out my Cocoa Pops, um, weighed out everything else. Um, like everything that was, I could hand, ev everything that was handy to weigh out before I came, I did. Um, so I just brought enough Cocoa Pops for what I needed after my workouts. Um, instead of like trying to find somewhere to weigh out my Cocoa Pops or whatever, you know, I'm still staying on track. And I, sa I saved a lot of money on food as well. Um, and, like bringing all my food and cooking as well, you know, instead of trying to find places to eat as well, because Dublin's so complicated in terms of like traffic and stuff. So I'm actually happy enough that I got an apartment and did my own, all my own cooking and um, still staying on track. Alright, guys, we're halfway down the motorway. Um, I went to Krispy Kreme Donuts as you've seen. And I just said I'd strike off straight away onto the motorway. I'm on like Junction 14, um, which is like the stop off point, like halfway down the motorway between Cork and Dublin. Um, it's like we're gonna get diesel, because I, I had to get some diesel in there, so I said I might call in and have a little bit of a break. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I'm not gonna get any food or anything, um, because I have a load of food right here. Look at this. I'm just gonna whip these bad boys open. I think I might like give you guys a little bit of a taste as I've never had. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this one, it's the Biscoff Donut. I'm gonna give this a go, guys, um, and hopefully. It'll be absolutely insane. Mmm, man, this donut like I said. I think it's a 7 or 8 out of 10. Yeah, oh, so nice. Again, I'm not the best donut I've ever had, but again, it's very, very good. I think this one's like a raspberry, iced raspberry. That is very nice. It's almost like raspberry jam in the middle. Uh, the raspberry filling was very strong, like very sweet. Um, but overall, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. So yeah, I think this one's like strawberry creme. So I'm going to a little bit of taste this on this one. That filling is so nice, I don't know how to explain it. This is so sick. Mmm. 
I think this one's my favourite so far. We're fueling our biceps with all these donuts, that's for sure. That's, that's what we're going to say. Alright, so I mean, one last one. So we're having the original glazed. And um, this is like the OG. Pretty good. Yeah, no, that's nice. That strawberry one, of course. I call this donut now like a Homer Simpson donut. Last bite, straight to the biceps. All right, probably wasn't ideal having those four donuts now before I drive back because they're just going to make me feel so tired now. And um, there's all those carbs and sugars in my system. Not, not ideal. Um, but anyway, we'll hit the road again. And <laughs>